from uh, Fabrizio Romano. 12 football clubs today jointly announced an agreement competition for Super League. AC Milan, Arsenal, Atletico, Chelsea, Barcelona, Inter, Juventus, Liverpool, Man City, Manchester United, Real Madrid and Tottenham. Uh, three more clubs are expected to join as founding clubs before the inaugural season, which is expected to start as soon as possible. In the future, the founding clubs look forward to consulting with UEFA and FIFA in order to work together. Oh. Fuck you. Fuck you, Manchester United. You fucking parasites who own our fucking football club. I'm sorry to swear, but that's a fucking disgrace. It's a disgrace. An absolute disgrace of the highest order. And AC Milan, and Arsenal, and Atletico, and Chelsea. What the fuck are you doing? You greedy bastards. What are you doing? Scum. Absolute scum. Greedy, the lot of you. I don't, I don't even know the owners of some of these clubs. I mean, some of them are money men, we know. But I don't know what the owners of Inter and, and, um, and uh, Atletico are like. I don't. I honestly don't know what the background of those clubs are. But this is just elitism. This is elitism. We, we, we've been trying to get rid of this from the world for, from the world for decades. Elitism. Pull up. The, it's rich people. It's pull the ladder up, Jack, and sod the rest. It's disgusting. I will have no part in this. It's disgusting. I'm disgusted by Manchester United Football Club for being a part of this. And you know what? Maybe we're part of it because other clubs are doing it and we're scared not to be part of it. But you know what? You're still part of the problem. You cannot be, you know, you cannot... When you've created the war, you cannot be, well, we didn't really want to do it, but everyone else was doing it, so we thought we had to do it. Bullshit. You know. Bad prospers, why good people stand back and do nothing. I'm disgusted. I'm absolutely disgusted by it. Absolutely disgusted by it. Football in the mud. Florentino president at uh, Real Madrid and the first chairman of the Super League said, we will help football at every level and take it to its rightful place in the world. Uh, Twelve of Europe's lead, uh, leading football clubs have today come together to announce they have agreed to establish a new midweek competition, the Super League, governed by its founding clubs. Um, I, just, I, I want to throw up. I want to throw up. I really do. Um, I just don't, I don't know what to say, people. I really don't know what to say. I'm absolutely gutted. Um... Ah, oh, just, just unbelievable. It's over. I mean, it's, it's generally over. Every, I mean, look, what, what my future is involved in, in football fan content, I don't know. But it's over. It, it, it is over. Um, I, I'll stand by what I said. It's over. I'm, as, where, where I am now, I've got no fucking interest. I, I, I can't follow this football club if it's going to do what it's going to do because it's going to destroy football. What they're basically saying is we're going to work, we're going to have a European Super League and we'll work alongside the Premier League and, and, and UEFA. You're not. It's the beginning of the end. You're not pulling the wool over my eyes. This is the beginning of the end. You've basically destroyed football to, be, to, to line your own pockets, to take control as a little uh, as a consortium of the biggest clubs in the world. You're basically going to destroy football. And the only reason you're doing it is to hoover up every pound you can get from every sponsor, from every TV company, and take it everywhere around the world and hoover everything you can. China, Australia, India, Mexico, everywhere. You want the whole lot and you want it all to you. And it's not about Manchester United getting rich and it's not about Real Madrid getting rich. It's about the owners getting rich. We are going to hoover it up. We're going to take every good Leicester player. We're going to take every good Leon player. We're going to take every good Sampdoria player, every good Sevilla player. We're going to have super squads, big franchises, and we are going to own it all. We're going to own it all and we're going to be super, super rich. And the rest of football is going to crumble around us. But we don't care because we will be the biggest. We're going to be the American football of the world series. It's the European Super League, which is the world series. Bullshit. Absolutely bullshit. I'm, I'm disgusted. Absolutely disgusted. And I tell you what, I apologise. As a Manchester United fan, I apologise. I'm embarrassed by what this football club has done because the Glazers own our football club and they are high-fiving and they are happy. But as a Manchester United fan, 
who absolutely understands what this football club is all about and understands why I love this football club. I apologise. I apologise to every club who's going to get fucked over. Aston Villa, West Ham United, Southampton, you are fucked. You are finished. Do not think you're going to prosper at all because what will happen is you think your Premier League's going to carry on without Man United in it. It won't. It might a little bit, but it won't. You won't get the, you won't get the big money. This will start off as a midweek Super League hypothetically. And, you know, maybe there's maybe a deal can be done that Man United can stay in it. But the league, the team Man United put out in that league will not be as good as the Super League. So everyone will watch the Super League. And then what will happen to Villa is your Jack Grealishers and your Tyrone Mings and your Matty Cash, they'll all be hoovered up into super squads that Arsenal have got and Manchester United have got. And why the fuck are Arsenal in it? You know, that's a big point for me as well. Why are clubs that are shit allowed into it? Because they are big. Leicester have won a title in the last 10 years. Leicester have finished above Arsenal and Spurs in the last two seasons. And yet Leicester are not in the Super League because they ain't big enough. You know what that's all about? I've had this all my bloody well life. I've had it all my life. You're not having that job because you don't go to the pub that we go to. You know, and, you know, how, how much more of a wandering away for that is you're not going to this school because your parents aren't rich or even worse. You know, you're not getting on that bus because you don't look right. You know, this is elitism. It's disgusting. In the modern world, it's a disgrace. And my football club's going to be party to that. Fuck off. Disgraceful. Absolutely. And I'm sorry for the language, but this is real. This is real. It's disgusting. I cannot believe we are going to turn our back on the European Cup and English football. As Manchester United Football Club, we are going to do that. I cannot, and I hope Liverpool fans are doing this. I, I, bet, I, I mean, I hope Arsenal fans are doing this. They probably think they've won the bloody lottery because they've got no future and, and now they're in the European Super League. Maybe I'm being unfair to Arsenal fans. I don't know what Arsenal fans think, but it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And the only reason it's happening, the only reason it's happening is because they want to make money. That's all it is. They want to make money. They're greedy, greedy people. This wouldn't happen in Germany because the clubs are owned by fans and the fans mm -hmm. won't allow it to happen. Now, I'm interested mm -hmm. to see how they're going to pull Bayern Munich in because Bayern Munich will know they need to be involved in this. They'll be bullied to be involved in it. And PSG will have to get involved as well. But football as we know it is going to die. Joel Glazer is vice president of the Super League. I feel sick at the moment. Seriously feel down and depressed about what's going on, says Cade. Well, look, this is where this is where the Manchester United Supporters Trust have got to stand up and do something. Because they're, they're the Manchester United Supporters Trust, but they're in bed with the club. Have they been paid off? Are they? I mean, I don't know. But trust me, the United Stand was set up as a fan channel to talk about matches. It wasn't set up to be taking on the Glazers or anything like that. I wouldn't even know where to start. Um, but Manchester United fans need to do something and they need to do something fast because this is going to happen. So we need to do something very, very quickly. Um, oh, I feel sick. I feel, you know, you know, you know, the thing is, it's all a very personal thing. And some of you might be celebrating and look, it's, it's all about opinion. There's no point in doing this if it's not about opinion. It is all about opinion. But the thing that, that, that just that sickens me to the stomach is that I mentioned like my granddad and why I support Manchester United and, and being educated on the Busby Babes and, and, and 68 and, and George Best and all that. But look, I'm getting to that age now where I'm educating my kids about 99. I realised this tonight when I was I had a quick bath before I watched Line of Duty and I was in the bath and I was, I was really like just thinking about it. I thought, you know what? I'm starting to be the person that my granddad was. I'm talking to my kids, but I'm also talking to some of you who weren't there in 99 and I'm telling you what it's like. I'm re I'm, re I'm giving you stories about 99 that you don't know about because you weren't alive. So you're, get, you're starting to get the stories that I, I was privileged to get. And you didn't witness them. And these stories all revolve around winning the European Cup, being fantastic in the league. These moments, we're going to turn our back on it so that a bunch of Americans who somehow got hold of our football club can get ultra rich. And players can get ultra rich. And let's be honest, they're, they're players. Like, we were talking about a player today who was shit. And we were saying, shit, he's not good enough. What's he doing? Oh, have, have another hundred grand a week. You know, the horrible thing is here, you've got UEFA who are panicking. You've got the clubs who feel like they've won the lottery. 
Um, and you've got the fans who are absolutely apoplectic. Um, United have, have said something as well. Uh, Joel Glazer, by bringing together the world's greatest clubs and players to play each other, the Super League will open a new chapter for European football, ensuring world-class competition and facilities and increased financial support for the wider football pyramid. Mate, you, you know what? You know what? You've pushed me tonight. Don't you ever, ever start talking about football like you know a fucking thing about it. <laughs> 